Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where I make motherhood and lifestyle content. My name is Shadea if you don't already know me and today I'm bringing you the first installment of a new series on my channel called Making This House a Home. To give you some background information, I've lived in this house with my husband and two-year-old daughter for three and a half years now. We've hardly made any changes to the place since we lived here, but that's all about to change, starting with this hallway. We're giving this area a fresh coat of paint and purpose with new furniture to match. to the hallway was paint. The color I'm using is Rock Candy by Sherwin-Williams. It's a bluish gray color that looks so good paired with the furniture we chose. I'm no professional, but I found it easiest to paint all the corners with a brush and then do the larger middle sections with a roller. I also kept switching back and forth between the roller and the brush when I got to the small spaces like in between the light switches. This job only required one coat, but I did touch up some areas the next day where I missed a spot. The next day, it was time to take down the tape. That thing you see on our ceiling is an old school smoke detector. It came with the house and is an original from the 1959 build. Eventually, we'll remove that and paint all the ceilings in the house, but that's just not a part of the project today. rather than trying to take all the tape off the top, then take all the tape off the sides and all the tape off the bottom. I'm just kind of keeping the ladder in this area and taking all the tape off that's in this area before moving on to another. Once all of the tape was down, I replaced all of the electrical covers and tightened all the doorknobs since I already had the screwdrivers out. Time to hang our picture back up. Next, it was time to start building the furniture. Seeing this come together has to be my favorite part. cabinet from Joss and Maine, but it's no longer available on their site. Fortunately for you guys, I found it for a few dollars cheaper on Amazon, and I'll have it linked below in the description box. 
It was really hard to find a cabinet that fit this space because the wall is so narrow. But I lucked up when I found this one because the wood tones match perfectly with the floor. For the next part, I called in my husband for help to make sure the screw was securely in the beam of the wall. I got this mirror on Amazon and was shocked at the amazing quality. It's so heavy and so beautiful, and it doesn't take up too much space on this narrow wall. So here's what we have so far, you guys. I'm loving it. It is the hallway of my dreams. I'm so happy with my purchase. <laughs> Hey guys, we just finished putting everything together. I love so much how it turned out. And now it's time for one of the best parts, which is going through all the stuff that I have to decorate the top of it. So I gathered a few things that I already had here in the house and then I picked up a couple of things from Target. So let me show you what I bought. First, Starting with some things that I already have, and I'm not sure if I'll use all of this. I just really gathered everything that I could potentially use. I found this in my house. It was just sitting in my guest room, so I figured I might be able to make better use of it out here in the hallway. So we're gonna try and see if we can incorporate that. And then the next couple of things I actually purchased. So the first thing I picked up is this kind of like coffee table book. This book is called Restoration House and it's all about creating a home that gives life and connection to all who enter. And the kind of crazy funny thing about it, the author is Kanisha Bites and she is the wife of my husband's cousin. And it's so funny, like I've never met her before, but when I saw her last name, I definitely had to support since I wanted a book of this sort. So. Definitely go check out her book. I'll link it down below in the description box. So of course the book features a bunch of pictures and things like that, how you can style your home. It lists ways to do charcuterie boards. It's just like a wealth of information in here about making your home a really welcoming and warm place. But my favorite thing about it, you guys, is that it features pictures of a black family. So not only is this something that I can aspire to just because I want my home to be beautiful, but I also can kind of see myself in this book, if you know what I mean. So pick this up on Amazon. And then from Target, I picked up this beautiful plant. It might actually end up being too big for this space, but then I could swap it out with some other things that I have in my house already. We picked up this candle. This is the Lavender Lemonade scent, and the brand is by Opal House. And it smells really good. It smells like candy, honestly. But this is what it looks like, and it has this really pretty gold top. Lastly, I picked up this book stand, which I actually wanted for my kitchen. This is a hearth and hand easel, but I'm thinking if I want to sit the book that I have upright, I might use this and sit it up here on the counter rather than laying it flat. And then I could also get a new one for my kitchen. But that's everything that I've picked up. I'm going to start playing around with it and seeing if I can create something special. In this clip, you can see that my cabinet arrived with a little scratch on the top, but I contacted the company and they sent out a replacement at no charge. You'll also see me playing around with these pumpkins because I did film the majority of this video in the fall. It just took a little while to get the video edited and out for you guys between working full time and being a mommy. So please bear with the outdated seasonal decor. I just kept playing with the decor until I came up with something I liked. All right, you guys, this is what we have so far. I don't hate it, but I just feel like it's not finished. It's not complete, right? I forgot I had this little tray in my closet. So I took that out, I flipped it upside down to try to add some height. But I feel like I need like a little bowl or something. 
just I need something else to pull these all together I just lined the pumpkins up right now just to kind of use them and like fill up the space but I'm not completely in love with it and my daughter is definitely gonna just come and like take them when she gets home so this is what we're working with right now but I might try to figure out some more stuff to do with this before we're done it took a while, but the runner I ordered eventually showed up. I got the runner from Target and I'm so in love with it. It really helps to pull in that black and wood theme that I have going in the hallway. Here's the final product. I still have plans for another wall in this hallway, but I'm so in love with what we have so far. Inside of the cabinet, we're just storing some of our extra dog items. But if you've made it to this point in the video, I would love for you to subscribe. There will be lots more home improvement videos on the way. Also, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know what brought you to this video today. Catch you all in my next video. Bye! Are you still there? To delete this message, press 7. To save it in the archives, press 9. To hear more options, press 0. What are you talking about?